Hi everyone, I'm Christina, Chief Creative Officer at Squarely, and today we're going to take a look at Squarely SEO audit feature, specifically at traffic section. So what is Squarely SEO? Squarely SEO is like having a personal SEO assistant. It guides you through optimizing your website so that you can rank higher on search engines like Google. With over 650 features under the hood and the SaaS Plus plugin configuration, Squarely is the only SEO tool on the market capable of fully supporting a holistic SEO strategy that covers every essential ranking factor. The importance of continuous SEO. Evolving strategy. SEO is a continuous process requiring regular updates. Regular monitoring. Constantly track, tweak, and improve your site and strategy. A successful SEO strategy is one that evolves over time. Regular monitoring and adjustments are crucial to staying ahead in the competitive digital landscape. Overview of Squarely SEO Audit Suite. It covers six main areas, blogging, traffic, social media, SEO, links, and authority, giving you a complete picture of your site's performance. It helps in making an informed decision based on real data. It also provides a comprehensive score based on those areas. How the SEO audit works. Customizable audits. Choose which pages to audit for relevant insights. Weekly scores. Receive a weekly score based on the analysis of selected pages. Actionable tasks. Get specific tasks and tips to improve your SEO. Understanding traffic analysis. Traffic metrics. Measure visitors' numbers and behavior. Page traffic. Show which pages are getting the most visits. Traffic analysis is crucial for understanding how visitors interact with your site. This information helps in optimizing your content and marketing strategies. Why is traffic important? Visibility. More traffic means higher visibility and more potential customers. Engagement. High traffic can lead to better engagement and more interactions. Revenue. Increased traffic can translate into higher sales and revenue. Traffic is the lifeblood of your website. More visitors means more opportunities for engagement and sales. It's crucial for growth and success online. Why track traffic metrics? Performance measurements. Gosh, the effectiveness of your SEO and marketing efforts. Identify trends. Spot patterns in visitors' behavior. User experience. Improve pages with low traffic. Benchmarking. Track performance over time. Using traffic data to improve SEO. Top performing content. Focus on replicating successful pages. Optimize low performing pages. Improve pages with low traffic. Invest in high traffic sources. Allocate resources to the most effective channels. Use the traffic data to identify what's working and what's not. Improve low performing pages and invest more in high traffic sources to boost your overall site's performance. Benefits of regular traffic audits. Stay updated. Keep tracks of changes in traffic patterns. Adapt quickly. Respond to new trends and shifts in user behavior. Optimize continually. Regular audits are essential. They help you stay updated with the latest traffic trends and allow you to adapt your strategy quickly, ensuring continual growth. Now, let's take a look at Squarely SEO audit feature, specifically at the traffic section. In order to do this, we have to open our WordPress dashboard, go to Squarely SEO, SEO audit. Let me remind you again that the Squarely SEO audit only analyzes the pages that you edit. 
I will briefly mention why the audit score is so low, but we will have a separate video for that specifically. So let's click on show latest audit. If we are going to SEO, we can see over here some of the pages that we are auditing for this particular site have the value of no index and no follow. That's why our audit score is so low. We have to make a decision about those pages, but that's for another video. Okay, let's go to traffic. Over here in the traffic section of Squally SEO audit, we can see the top 10 pages for this week from the pages that we added to be analyzed for this particular audit. We can see the URLs over here, the visitors over here and the bounce rate over here. We also have a bit more information over here. If there is enough data in Google Analytics, you should see the list of pages with the most visitors in the last week in the traffic section of your SEO audit. Having at least 100 visitors per page every week is crucial. Search engines like Google and Bing will push down a page which doesn't attract visitors. And now let's see the pages with the lowest traffic. For the pages with low traffic, we can once again see the URL and the value. And over here we have more information on how we can fix the overall traffic of our website. Make sure you have active listings, which can be easily found on various marketplace platforms. Example, if you have a Shopify app, a Chrome extension, a Chrome app, a Udemy course, slides on SlideShare, videos on YouTube, an infographic on Pinterest, etc. This will always bring you constant traffic to the website. And once you set it and make it visible, you can forget it. It will keep bringing you traffic. Of course, the key is to first make those items visible in the places where you publish them. You need an email list. Make sure that people who come to your store, do business with you, visit your site or read your blog, give you their email address so you can communicate with them further on. An alternative to this is to make a chatbot for Facebook Messenger and get them hooked to the bot. By doing any of those, you'll be able to bring those people back to your website. Use the keyword research tool included in Squally SEO to spot keywords that are easily to rank for. And we have a URL to learn more about the feature. Rank for more keywords with low competition. This will start building up traffic for your site. To easily rank the new pages, use the SEO goals. Once again, with the URL to learn more about the feature. Study website rankings to learn how to bring more traffic by using the special cloud service for rank checking available on business plan. Pro tip, get each person who arrives on your site once to leave something that you can use later on to bring them to your site again. You can use Facebook pixel and then retarget them. You can make them subscribe to desktop notification to receive push notification. You can have them download an app, subscribe to a newsletter, etc. Sometimes it's best if you can create clever funnels that will ensure that any person may start following you on multiple such channels. This is what you can see inside the traffic section in Squally SEO audit. Thank you for tuning in. Stay creative, stay inspired and keep optimizing your online presence. Until next time.